through 1,000 metres then in the final of the men's quadruple skulls. Great Britain are in lane at number one. A slow first 10 strokes. Got, they got into it, though. They were in fifth position with 500 gone. They're now in that fourth position, and they're going to have to move it on in this third 500 metres. A lane order. Great Britain in one, Ukraine in two, Belarus in three, Estonia in four, the Czech Republic, the Olympic silver medalists, and race leaders right from the beginning in lane number five, and Poland in lane number six alongside them. Gary, if, if, the, if the British four, the British squad back there can hold this fourth place, that puts, uh, puts uh, uh, U Ukraine and Belarus behind them, who were third and sixth in the Olympics. That has moved them a huge uh, step up. And this will be a very, very good result if they can do that and stand them in good stead for Gifu in Japan for the World Championships later this year. Looking there at uh, lane four, Estonia. A mixed bag of uh, scholars here coming together in this year. That's what always happens in the post-Olympic year. The, uh, a lot of the Olympic champions retire. It's a, it's a time for reforming, regrouping. And got Yuri Janssen, they got Yuri Janssen. Uh, well, he doesn't know how to retire. <laughs> no, he doesn't know how to retire. He was second at the Olympics last year, and he's sitting in the bow of the uh, the Estonian boat. But look at that British four, the uh, British squad. They're doing very, very well over there on lane set, on lane one. Czech Republic, lane five, closest to us. As they go into the last 500 metres, continue to lead this final of the men's quadruple skull. Estonia in second place. Great Britain dropped back now from fourth into uh, fifth position. Slightly disappointing there, six seconds off uh, the pace here, but the pace has now really stepped up and they need to be you know, moving on with it because Estonia in uh, lane at number four have taken the lead on and Czech Republic look tired down closest to us. It looks heavy, doesn't it? It looks a bit laboured. They're, pick they're picking it up well together, they're moving well together, but they haven't been able to respond uh, as a crew uh, by raising the rate, by raising the pace. They haven't been able to respond really to this Estonian attack. 400 meters now remain. Estonia moving through. Always good to row up, but important to row through. Because psychologically, if the crew is watching you coming up and you stop beside them, then you just step on again. And that's what Estonia have been doing. They're moving on, but now the Czech Republic starting to move again. And there's only a matter of six feet in it. Great Britain up in lane at number one. Matt Langridge, Alex Gregory, Stephen Rowbottom, Alan Campbell. They have had a pretty good first. 1500 meters they're not going to be battling for the uh, medals but they'll certainly be battling for reputation and confidence as they go through the remaining part of this season but out front Estonia in lane number four have timed it to perfection they are cruising up to the line they've taken on the Czech Republic who led for most of this regatta most of the, the most of the race through then in first place Estonia in second place, the Czech Republic, and coming over the line, Poland in lane at number six, and Great Britain, regretfully up in lane number one, have just died as they came up to the line in the last 100 metres. They couldn't quite lift it through, but today it's Estonia's day, first place for them. We look forward now. Contrasting to, uh... fortunes then, uh, the result there for the final.